Uh, this is the end of a um, LED T8 tube, and we're going to change our light fixtures from fluorescent T8s to LED T8s. Now, we're not changing from T12 because the fluorescent T8 fixtures have electronic ballasts in them. It, this won't work with an old school magnetic T12 ballast. And on our website, we list pretty much every electronic ballast that's going to work. Now, I want to point out something. There's a little cover here on the pins. Make sure you take this off or it's not going to go in the light fixture. So take it off both ends and then you're going to be ready to go. Today's project is we're going to take this fluorescent light fixture, it has T8 tubes in it, and we're going to convert it to LED. And these are called the plug-and-play LEDs. These LEDs actually work off the transformer ballast that's up inside. And up inside is an electronic ballast that runs these T8 tubes. It's very standard in most fixtures that have T8 tubes. So we're going to go through the process. It's very, very simple. You'll see how quick this is. Um, and uh, put in our LEDs. So the first step is to move these louvers out of the way. And I always uh, make sure that the power is off, the tubes are cold, I have my protective eyewear on. Now, all the light fixtures open up slightly differently. Usually these grates swing out of the way. And I bring a flashlight so I can look up inside here and find the springs that are holding this fixture in place, or I should say this trim in place. So I see the spring up there. I'm going to take my finger first, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to use a screwdriver, and I'm going to swing this fixture open. So first I'm going to try my finger. There's the spring. I'm going to push it in, and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the light fixture. And it just hinges open like so. Really simple. I reach up inside, and I notice, look at this. For some reason, this is open. But I guess for today, that's a good, that's a good thing, because I can show you the guts of this fixture. The wiring, and here's the electronic ballast. Electronic ballast here, and the wiring back into the circuit, into the sockets of the light fixture. So for the plug and play, this ballast is going to stay right where it's at. We're not taking it out. But I do want you to go look at our other video for LED applications where this does come out. And you're thinking, well, why would I want to bother? Well, there's pros and cons to both. Having this here already, we don't have to mess with it. We can do a plug and play. But this thing still pulls a little bit of power or electricity. So we're not building as an efficient light fixture as possible. However, we're saving a lot of time in installation. Because if you go look at the other video, you'll see there's about 10 more minutes involved in taking this out. But today we're going to focus on the plug and play. And we're going to put this cover back in place so it looks good. We're going to remove the tubes. We're going to put in the LED tubes. And we're going to be done. So let me go ahead and start doing that. I'm going to put this cover back in place. And if you look up in here, let me show you. See these little tabs sticking out here? This edge is going to go right in there, okay? So on both sides. So it's really, really very, very simple. Line it all up. Press it together with your fingers. And you're going to be able to snap this right in place. Cover up that, that ugly ballast that's in there. So covers back in. Wires are all covered. Next thing I'm going to do is, now the light fixture has been off for a while, and I brought additional lighting here in the room so we can see. So you always want to bring work light with you because you don't want to do this in the dark, and you never want to do this with the power on. Never work on your light fixtures with the power on. So there's one tube, and there's the third one, or second one, and here's the third one. So I'm going to remove the light tubes from the fixture. Just pull these out here real quick. All right, so the fluorescent tubes have been removed. And we're going to go down the ladder and we're going to get the new plug and play LED T8 replacements. And we're going to install them the same way we would if the fluorescents would have burnt out. Now, one of the disadvantages is when that uh, ballast goes out, your plug and play are just not going to work anymore. So you got to make sure that uh, that's always working and you're going to have to test accordingly. Now the LED tubes, this one has a frosted, they come in frosted and clear. And the LEDs are shooting straight down, they're not shooting up into the reflector. Makes it more energy efficient. So make sure you put the tubes in so the light's shooting down, not up. Because they only go one direction. That's what makes these a little different. It also makes them much more efficient. And if you look at the chart on our website, um, you're going to see some efficiencies 
and wattage differences between your old T8s and these. Now, this one's in backwards and upside down. Okay, so we're going to take it back out. We're going to turn it around, and we're going to put it in correctly so the LEDs face the correct direction. All right, there's a third LED tube. So we've converted this light fixture from 34 watts each tube down to 14.5. And as technologies change, the LEDs changed, your wattages will vary different. But we've dramatically cut the uh, load of this fixture on your electric bill. Now the last step is to put the louvers back in place. And quite often you just push it back up in there and the springs, push the spring with your thumb, the springs lock the belt back in place and you're ready to go. So the last final step after you get your louvers um, back in place is just to turn the light on and check it. Now on this light, uh, we used a higher color temperature. This is around 5,000 degrees K, produces a really nice white light. And in the space that we're in right now, um, we have the 5,000 K and we have a 3,500 K right next to it. Uh, so you can see the color of both of them. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.